This is the Valyrian Stream Master Plus 2, and it's glorious. Some of you might remember that a couple of years ago, I got a high-end shot throw laser projector and did a review on it here on the channel, the 3500 Pro model from a company called AWOL. Valerian is a sister company of AWOL, and they saw my review of the 3500 Pro and reached out to me recently to do a review on their new line of PC gaming focused laser projectors. And I gotta say, this is the best projector I've used for gaming by a mile, while also outputting a phenomenal 4K HDR image quality for movie watching. What sets this projector apart is its high refresh and low latency capabilities, which make it perfect for gaming. This is a proper projector for PC enthusiasts, and it's one of the most affordable ways of getting superior image quality in the home without spending tens of thousands of dollars on a large OLED. Before becoming a full-time content creator, I worked as an information architect where coding was a daily challenge. Man, how I wish boot.dev existed back then. It would have made my life so much easier. Boot.dev is revolutionizing programming education by teaching you back-end web development from start to finish in languages like Python, Golang, and Go. What I love about boot.dev is that it keeps you engaged while writing real code. The smartest way to learn to code is to make sure you're never bored, so you can stick with it long enough to reach your goals. And let's face it, you can't learn to code without doing what you'll do on the job, writing a lot of code and building real projects. Imagine learning programming not as a tedious task, but as an immersive online RPG where you complete daily coding quests, gain skills and experience points, and where your progress feels like leveling up in a game. As you go through the lessons, you'll even unlock pages in your spellbook, an unlockable cheat sheet of links and notes that you can review anytime. Backend developers earn a medium salary of $100,000 per year in the US, with many roles offering work flexibility. Boot.dev is your pathway to unlocking these opportunities. Go to boot.dev and try out the courses for free. Then use my code CORTEX to get 25% off your entire first year if you choose the annual plan. Invest in yourself by clicking the link in the description and start your programming quest with boot.dev. For the sake of disclosure, Valerian sent me this pre-production review unit, but this is not paid or sponsored content. Valerian have no say on what I do with it or how I test it, and I'm free to give my honest opinion about it. Valerian has several different models available now, which can go up to 1080p, 240Hz or 4K. The version I have is the Stream Master Plus 2, although this pre-production unit is branded as Vision Master, but the naming scheme has been changed now that most of the final line lineup is available for purchase. It supports up to 120Hz at 1080p with 8ms response time or 240Hz with 4ms response time, although that 240Hz is an internal downscaling that then gets upscaled to 1080p. More on that later. It does support actual native 4K as well, of course, which I'd say is more suited for movie watching, as the response time goes up to 15 milliseconds, which is still fine for some gaming, but not ideal for first-person shooters or driving games, for instance. Also note that the screen that Valerian provided for testing is absolutely ginormous. It had 200 inches, and I couldn't fit it indoors. I went to my parents' place when I set up the outdoor screen in their backyard, and this screen surfaces is made for this sort of long throw projector. The indoor footage that you'll see throughout this review was projected onto a screen that is designed for short throw, so the indoor picture doesn't do the projector justice, I gotta say. Using the proper screen, the 200 inch monster, with the correct screen surface, the picture quality is simply mind blowing. The contrast and sharpness at 4K is just insane, and the projection size can actually go up even larger, up to 300 inches, so you can basically set up your own cinema with this thing. The Valerian is shipped in this relatively compact box, and inside you'll find a carrying case made out of a thick styrofoam material with a carrying handle, which is handy for 
when you want to take the projector outdoors. Inside this carrying case, you'll find an unboxing manual and your warranty card. There's also an accessory box and a product manual printed in full color, which is appreciated. As far as accessories, you get a cleaning cloth, a remote, which not only feels very premium, but also lights up, meaning the main functions light up, which is a nice detail for a product that you are going to be using in mostly dark environments. And you get batteries for the remote and a power brick for the projector. This is the European version of the connector. Your region will feature an appropriate one. Unwrapping the unit reveals a beautifully designed cube with a minimalist design that feels extremely premium. It's hefty and very well built. The sides have a grill for ventilation and the top features a microphone for the Google Voice Assistant and a handy switch for turning the mic off so you don't have to worry about Google recording you. The front of the projector is covered with a glass surface that also feels very premium and this particular model has a fixed lens with a throw ratio of 1.2 to 1 which means you have to physically move the projector further away or closer to your screen to get the image to enlarge to your desired size. There are other variants available like the Vision Master Pro which have a zoom lens. At the bottom of the projector you have a built-in flap to prop up the projector if needed. Valerian sent me this really nice stand which is an extra accessory that you can buy and again it feels super premium. I don't think this stand is necessary to use the projector but depending on how you plan to use it or if you want to mount it to the ceiling getting something like this might be a good idea. The projector features a pure RGB laser with ISF certification. So it's not like many of the other projectors out there that use a single laser with a phosphor wheel. With the Valerian projectors, you are getting actual triple lasers. So for each individual RGB laser, the light source in this unit has a 10,000 to 1 contrast ratio with enhanced black level support, which you can turn on in the settings. And it does make a difference, especially when watching movies. The Stream Master Plus 2 supports Dolby Vision, IMAX enhanced, HDR10 and 10 Plus with an impressive 110% Rex 2020 color space. And that's the one that's set by default when you plug this into a Windows device. That's significantly better than most TV or PC monitors sets that you'll find on the market today. So the color accuracy here is phenomenal. This particular version has 2000 ISO lumens, but there's also the Vision Master variants which go up to 3000 ISO lumens. By the way, for this testing, I purposefully used a Early mid-range PC by today's standards with an AMD 5900X 12 core CPU and a Radeon 6700 XT along with 16 gigabytes of RAM. The reason I'm using this PC instead of my main gaming rig is that I wanted to show that buying a projector like this is, in my opinion, a better investment than buying a new GPU of equivalent price to then output to a regular PC gaming monitor. And by GPU of equivalent price, I'm referring to a 4090 or a 5080 or a 5090. In addition to that, specifically for gaming, I feel like this projector's 1080p 120Hz low latency mode is the best way to use it. So the PC I threw together with mid-range parts I had laying around is perfectly suited for that output. Anyway, back to the projector specs. And inside the projector is a MediaTek SoC, the MT9618, which is a quad-core ARM Cortex-A73 at 1.4 GHz. So standalone, the projector is more than capable of running all of the popular streaming apps or any demanding 4K content. And the projector runs on Google TV OS, so there's support for all of the streaming services out there in the box. You don't need an external device. And there's also support for AirPlay 2, Chromecast, and Miracast if you want to stream wirelessly. The laser source is rated at 25,000 plus hours, and there's 4 gigabytes of RAM internally and 128 gigs of storage if you want to load up some content content onto the units to take with you on the go. Setup was quick and easy and one of my favorite features is the auto keystone. You can see here how I'm projecting on an angle but the unit automatically detects the angle of the projecting surface relative to it and keystones the image accordingly. This is a fantastic quality of life feature. As far as the picture quality, my camera really doesn't do this projector justice. The picture is phenomenal on the Plus 2 and that's coming from someone who uses one of the best 
short throw projectors on the market on a regular basis. The AWOL 3500 Pro that I also reviewed, which costs like three times as much as this one. I'm really impressed with the sharpness of the image at 4K and the color representation especially is just fantastic. Running some BT 2020 content, even off of YouTube, watching content on the 200 inch screen is a glorious experience and something that you have to see in person to really appreciate. The colors are really vivid, the contrast is excellent, it's proper 4K HDR and the projector handles it without issues. And that's in a projector that only costs $2,000 in the US or 2,200 euros here in Europe and even less than that if you go with the Plus instead of the Plus 2. The only difference there being that the Plus has 1,650 ISO lumens so it will be a bit less bright than this one but it also only costs $1,500 or 1,600 euros here in the EU. And that is incredible value for what this is offering. Now, of course, this is still a projector, so you're not going to get the brightness levels that you would get out of a mini LED panel, for instance. And unlike the 3500 Pro short throw that I use for my own movie watching, the Stream Master will have quite a bit of light loss if you are using it in a daylight environment. So for that type of application, you're better off with an OLED TV. But if you plan to use this in a dark room or outdoors at night, its brightness levels are great. And obviously here you are getting a much lighter larger image. The motion clarity is great even with the motion enhancement features turned off, but you can go into the settings and set it up to your liking. I personally really can't stand that soap opera look, but the option is there if you need it, along with super resolution scaling internally on the unit. So you can do AI upscaling even outside the context of gaming internally on the projector. And speaking of gaming, which I think is where this projector really excels, the low latency at 1080p is fantastic at 8 milliseconds and playing Oblivion Remastered, especially at 200 inches, is a proper PC enthusiast experience. I know this sounds cringe but it felt like I was inside the game world given just how gigantic the image is. The response time is not as instantaneous as my OLED and the smoothness is also not comparable but for a projector it's very impressive, especially at this price. I think this is the best gaming experience that you can get at such large sizes and and even using it indoors on my less than ideal short throw screen, it's awesome to immerse yourself in a game like Oblivion with such a large image without having to compromise on responsiveness. Now there is one caveat here, the advertised 240Hz mode is not actually 1080p, there's some form of internal downscaling happening to allow the projector to run at that high a refresh rate which results in a noticeable blurring of the image when you turn the high refresh rate mode on. So I would stick with 120Hz 1080p for gaming as that felt like the best quality to performance configuration to my eyes and 120Hz will feel really smooth and the 8 millisecond response time is up there with most gaming monitors. Although like I said, obviously not close to OLED. As far as the I.O. on the back, you get a DC 36 volt power input, a SPDIF digital audio connector if you want to plug in an external amplifier or something like a soundbar, one USB 3.0 and one USB 2.0, three HDMI 2.1 ports, one of which supports eARC, a 3.5mm audio jack, which I love to see as most projectors only have digital output and somewhat surprisingly there's also a LAN NIC, so I guess if you have bad Wi-Fi you can plug this in via a wired connection to your router and then there's a physical power button. The cooling fan on the unit will turn on and off as you use it, which is typical of projectors, but it's much quieter than your typical projector. If you stand next to it or use it in your living room, you will hear it, especially in the more quiet sections of a movie for instance, but it's really not that noticeable compared to the competition. Are there any negatives to the Stream Master Plus 2? That's the issue with the 240Hz mode that I mentioned earlier and also while using the projector on an angle I did notice a bit of blurring on the edge that was the furthest from the projector seeing as it has to keystone compensate for the original distorted image. So you'll want to have the projector as straight as possible relative to the screen if you want the optimal sharpness in all regions of the screen you are using. But beyond that, 
there's not much that I can find as negatives, especially compared to what's out on the market right now, like the dumb boxes from companies like Epson, which only output a signal from HDMI, so no built-in Google OS with actual apps, and those cost significantly more. So would I recommend the Valerian Stream Master Plus 2? Absolutely. The fact that it has Google OS means this can work as a standalone device. You just point it to a wall and you have a media powerhouse at your disposal, no other device needed. And for the money, you won't find a product currently that offers such an insane image quality with all of these features. But beyond the standalone aspect of it, for my audience specifically, I think this is something you guys should definitely consider, as this offers gaming at an immersive level that you won't find elsewhere, especially at this price, starting at just $1,500. If you have a mid-range PC by today's standards, like the one I put together for testing this projector, and you are considering buying an expensive GPU to improve your gaming experience, let me tell you, you will get a greater improvement to your overall experience by investing either in an OLED, or if you have the correct environment, in a projector of this quality, especially as this will take your movie and series watching to a whole new level in addition to the gaming upgrade. 5090s are still going for $3,700 to $5,000 depending on the model, and even 5080s are going for $1,700 plus. So instead of wasting money on those, I would encourage you to invest in a better display or in a projector like this one, as that will improve your media consumption experience in a transformative manner, unlike an overpriced GPU which really just outputs more pixels. Check the description for links to the Stream Master Plus 2, and a big thanks to Valerian for providing this engineering sample to this review and for all their support during testing. Consider joining the Cortex Patreon for just a couple of dollars per month and get exclusive access to the Cortex Discord server as well as exclusive content. Thanks for watching and until the next one.